The National League combined timely hitting, speed on the base paths, and first-class pitching today to win the first of 1962's two All-Star games. The final score was 3-1. to one. In the bottom of the first, Dodger Don Drysdale, the National League starter, presented his calling card, Intimidation. The recipient was Minnesota third baseman Dick Rollins, the American League's leadoff man. Rollins is 24 years of age, and he is hit by a pitch ball and becomes the American League's first base runner. With Rollins on first and one away, Drysdale confronted the Yankees' murderous M&M duo. Power against power, the six foot five right-hander fed both sluggers a steady diet of fastballs. First was Maris. Dale Crandall, the catcher. Don Drysdale, the pitcher. Here is a swing and a miss. He struck him out on an inside pitch. Next up, Mickey Mantle. And over 11 previous seasons, he's averaged 34 homers a year. There is a swing and a miss. He struck him out, the ball was dropped by Crandall, picks it up and tags Mantle as he stands there. So Drysdale gets two strikeouts here. In the top of the third, the American League starter, Detroit's Jim Bunning, sent a message of his own when Drysdale came to bat. Two strike pitch to Drysdale. Almost knocked him down, had him ducking and he ended up in the dirt. He started to lean back to take it tight across the chest and buckle at the knees and went down in the dirt. It's one and two to Drysdale. After the game, Bunning issued the usual denial of having deliberately brushed back Drysdale. But when a reporter noted that Bunning was scheduled to hit against Drysdale in the American League's next time at bat, Bunning grinned and said, quote, Well, I knew I was going out for a pinch hitter, unquote. But the spotlight today belonged to Drysdale's teammate, Maury Wills. The speedy shortstop entered the game in the sixth as a pinch runner for Stan Musial after Musial led off with a single. Wills made his presence felt immediately. The infield is up a step. Rollins into the edge of the inner grass at third, looking for the butt. Fastball ready to go. Wills, the pitch hung on and missed, and batting makes no throw to second base. It's a clean steal by Maury Wills. After Maury's theft, Pittsburgh's Dick Grote knocked him in for the first National League run, and San Francisco's Orlando Cepeda scored Grote with a sacrifice. After the game, Wills explained the technique behind his larceny, stating, quote, Everything depends on the getaway. I'm really not that fast. All the bases I steal, I steal on the pitcher, unquote. In the top of the eighth, with the Nationals ahead 2-1, to one, it was Maury on the spot once again as he let off the inning. There's a pop fly into shallow left center field. Coming out in a hurry is Calavito, and he can't get there. The ball dropped. Aparicio picks it up, throws on to second, and Wills holds at first with a Texas League single. Next up, Giants third baseman Jim Davenport. Donovan checks Wills, delivers as a ground ball through the hole, a base hit to left field. Wills around second, and he'll hold there. Calavito throws in behind the runner. Wills going for third, the throw to third. He is safe at third. After the game, American League left fielder Rocky Calavito insisted that Wills had been caught at third. Third baseman Brooks Robinson concurred, stating, quote, I was all over him. I had him. I tagged him high in the leg, but the umpire said he was past me, unquote. In any event, Felipe Alou followed Davenport with a sacrifice fly, scoring Wills for the Nationals' third and final run. Afterward, in the National League clubhouse, players sat in clusters for almost an hour discussing the high points of the game. Regarding his single that touched off a two-run rally, 41-year-old Stan Musial said, quote, Well, these young fellows just needed something to get them started. It was a lot of fun, a great game, and a good team effort, unquote. 71-year-old Casey Stengel worked the coaching line today for the first time in 30 years. Asked if he did much chattering from the first base box, the Mets skipper said, quote, Well, a few of those Americans that got there, and there weren't very many at that, wanted to know if they could have jobs on our Mets. I told them I thought I just might be able to find places for them, unquote. The Mets currently trail the Dodgers by 31 and a half games. Los Angeles maintains a half-game lead over the Giants. In the American League, the Yankees are back in their accustomed spot at the top of the heap. The Indians trail by one game, the Angels by two and a half.